What's up, gaming fans? This is KJ Mullins with KJ Reviews. I am back and not a minute too late. So today what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the blister adapter for the mister made by Blissbox. All right. Now, before I get to anything, I want to go ahead and say that uh, I want to thank Sean for allowing me to review this for him. This review is my personal opinion, so there's no sugar coating, none of that, uncut, unedited, raw, just like Monday Night Raw back in the day, right? Okay, here we go. We're going to make this as quick as possible so that it's so easy for everybody to understand with no difficulties and none of that. So let's begin with these right here. This is the kit that was sent to me right here. Came with this adapter and this adapter. This right here is called the Gamer Pro adapter, which can be used on the PC. So what you can do is take one of the uh, blister adapters here. See where it says HDMI right there, and that's a Nintendo. It would connect right there, so you can hook it up to your PC. That's just a nice side bonus right there um, for your PC if you're big on emulation. Now this right here, you do need this to plug into the I.O. port on the Mr. right here if and if you want to use this on that via blister adapter. And you'll get the low latency and all that good stuff. It's kind of like a shortcut, basically. Um, a shortcut to where you don't have to get the actual blister adapter and USB hub that goes in the bottom of the mister. This right here is just for people who just want to have a quick plug and play solution, basically. But with that said, you cannot use any of these adapters here unless you obviously go to the website to download the software. So right here, we are going to the official website, which is blissbox.net forward slash downloads. Go in here. Oh, by the way, <laughs> side note, um, this right here is the Dragon Ball Tribute album performed by me, KJ Mullins, the very first Dragon Ball Tribute album ever in the history of the world. So that's what's playing in the background. In case you want to check that out, just look me up. Dragon Ball Tribute album, KJ Mullins. All right, cool. Anyways, back to the uh, blister. Go here to the downloads page. See, downloads right there, bomb, bomb, boom. Right here, you'll see where it says PS3, 2.0, Xbox Original, Switch, blah, 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 blah. Very self-explanatory. For example, if you're going to use a PS3 um, on the uh, blister, you're obviously going to need the uh, firmware here. But for the mister, we will need this right here, 3.0, compatible with the blister. Download that. Apply it to the SD card that's inside the mister. Now, unfortunately, I left my adapter... Um, in another city, so I can't like physically show y'all How to put the firmware on there, but I mean come on. It's really easy. You just uh, copy and paste onto the SD card of the mister which is right here on the side If y'all already know about mister obviously then you know how to do that cool. So with that said Probably wondering okay now. Why would I get the blister adapter if I have a USB hub adapter? Okay, that's a great question. That's a great question. Let me tell you why. The reason why I personally got this for myself, um, and it wasn't just sent for me for just review purposes. I actually wanted one, to be honest. Um, the reason I wanted one was because I like the fact that all the adapters that go with it, the retro adapters, this being PS1 and PS2, they're all the same shape and same size on, basically. You know, like uh, right here where it, uh, the HDMI port that goes into the blister right there, they're all the same. Now, I have a bunch of other adapters, you know, from companies like Rafnet, you know, uh, Brook. They're all good. Don't get me wrong. They're great. You know, even Mayflash. Um, but they're all different sizes. So all of my other adapters pretty much have, you know, they all just look all clunky and just bleh. You know, they're um, everywhere. So with this, they're all the same shape and same size, basically. So I like that. So I like to be able to have this all like in one case with all the adapters and then be able just to pull out which what I, what I need and be like, boom, Nintendo, I want to use a Nintendo controller. And I also love to use tons of controllers and different controllers with different systems, as you can see right here. Big controller holic here, here. Mainly because of the fact I'm a competitive player. I do fighting games, hence the six button Genesis. Actually, Mega Drive controller right here, not the Genesis, the Japanese Mega Drive. But um, I'm a very competitive player, so yes. This thing is like a big plus for me. All right, now let's get back to the uh, blister itself and the mister. I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all that it's real easy to hook up. It doesn't come with instructions, so that's another purpose of this video is so that I can help walk y'all through on how to put it together. Um, unfortunately, no instructions were sent with the custom mister case for the blister. 
Uh, don't ask me why. Um, I, I think it was really retarded because I had to disassemble and reassemble this like at least five to ten times. I'm not going to uh, disassemble it again, obviously, because I'm tired of doing that. So it's real easy. Okay. So once you get, if you plan on getting this custom case right here for the blister, then this is what you do. It's going to come with some standoffs. Okay. The case, the uh, the Mister case right here will come with two, you know, four standoffs. They go on the bottom. And then the original standoffs are on the bottom. You're going to put those on the top right here. Okay, so you're going to flip flop that to there and then put the new two, the four standoffs, excuse me, four standoffs to the bottom right here and voila. Now that's very easy, but if it would have came with instructions, I wouldn't have had that hectic problem getting that together, but it's very easy. As far as hooking up the uh, mister to the uh, blister is concerned, it's right here. I've got it hooked up to the CRT right here, so that's why I've got the uh, VGA cable there and the uh, auxiliary cable. So ignore those. What we're mainly looking at is the I.O. board cord right here goes into that USB port right there in between that crack as you can see and this right here for the power goes from there to there and then you have your power your main power cable coming out right there whoop, into the wall now you could use this right here but this right here is kind of pointless because of the fact that there is a power switch on the blister right here um, I thought that was really cool because you can just sit there and turn off and turn on as you need blah 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 boom boom This right here is mainly for people who just have a mister and the regular USB hub board I mean to be honest with you this does do the job it does work but From my research the, I was I was I heard that these right here actually um, Lower the power through the cable so they're not um, Giving you your full power, but they still work um, But we're not gonna be using this whoop, For this right here because we have a switch built into the blister which is awesome and we still have two USB ports right here and two on the other side basically this right here is a, com a complete clone of the other side obviously there's my uh, my Wi-Fi dongle adapter right there but anyways ignore that um, there's a reset button right here beside the controller you're gonna need to press that in case I were to pull this out and switch from that to let's say PS2 plugging it in then hitting reset Obviously, it's not smart enough to know what I'm plugging in. So by hitting the reset, it'll reset it and know, hey, I went from Sega Genesis to PlayStation. Same thing goes with the Gamer Pro right here. There is a switch that allows you to reset it. I am sorry for the Jackie camera, but I cannot seem to get anybody to record a video for me. It's really hard to get someone to do that for me. I guess they think it's boring, even though it's only for a few minutes. Um, so I'm kind of stuck doing it by myself, but it's cool. I mean, it's fine. I, I got this, right? I got this, yeah, yeah. But anyways, whoop, back to the software and everything. This is where you get your software, like I said. Now, if you want a quick reference of what I just talked about, go right here blissbox.net forward slash blister middle slash quick middle slash reference but I mean that's the easiest way but going through here everything I just talked about is pretty much in here but you see a lot of people don't like to read all you know a lot um, especially me I don't like a lot of reading so I like stuff to be narrowed down to me and kind of uh, preached to me kind of like in a church you know I'd rather go to church than than you know actually read the Bible because the Bible um, is uh, the, the language they use is um sometimes can be confusing but um yes shame on me i know i know but I'm, I'm working on it but yes i do love to be instructed of instructions like at college for example and having the a bible preached to me at church and that's pretty much what i'm doing for y'all right now so anyways there's a quick reference right here just in case you want to go through here and look at everything in-depth review of everything here's how you can hook up everything that i just explained earlier you know blah 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 so with that said all right, now with that said, here's how you get the blister to work with the mister using LLAPI. Now, LLAPI versus USB hub for the mister. You're probably wondering, okay, so which one is faster, this or this? Honestly, uh, they're both really fast. The, this one right here is faster, yes, by not a matter of milliseconds, but microseconds, okay? If you have OCD like me, that's gonna matter because you know people like me, you know, we we like the lowest the better. As a matter of fact, I even got me a snack adapter for that just to use for the uh, the light guns and everything. But like I said, the main reason why I got this was because I like the fact that all the adapters are pretty much the same size. And the bonus is it is lower latency than these by microseconds, but still, hey, good enough for me, right? Okay, now 
Like I said, I don't have the adapter to plug the SD card up into the PC over here to show y'all how to put the firmware on there, but it's, it's very self-explanatory on the firmware. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and, here's the mister fired up, keyboard, ba ba bam boom. Go right here, go to, you not utilities, what am I doing? No, go, to hit, hit F12. Okay, you're gonna hit F12. Where's the button? There it is, F12. You hit F12 and then you go to scripts. Okay, think of scripts as the option screen, um, just in case you're wondering, what is a script? Uh, ignore that, it's just saying that if you change anything, do it at your own risk. If you know what you're doing, go in here. Obviously, you're gonna know what you're doing because I'm gonna show you what to do. Do you want to continue? Yes. All right, when you go in here, after you put the firmware, the blister firmware onto your mister, there's gonna be an option in here that's going to allow you to turn on the LLAPI mode, okay? And then make sure you also run your uh, your update all. I always do that in general just to make sure it's going to be right there. Make sure you update all everything also. That way it can update everything else. Blah, blah. Okay, that takes care of that. Now, let's say, for example, I'm using my Mega Drive right here. And I'm going to do, 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 do the uh, core right here, the Genesis core. I am in it. This right here is where you're going to be seeing your LLAPI mode um, for your blister. You'll have to go into the menu of each core and look for it. It's very easy to find. Now, granted, it's not going to be in every core. It's going to be in mainly a bunch of the uh, the mainstream ones. When Genesis, we know that's a mainstream one, but it's going to be in here. And once you find that LLAPI uh, setting, you're going to turn it on. And once you turn it on, thing bada bing bada boom. Your blister droop, goes into your controller here and you got your low latency LLAPI mode. But that's pretty much it. Um, I would go in there and play some games or whatnot, but that would be pointless. It would drag out the video. No one cares about the game I'm playing because they're just going to see me play Sonic or whatever. Um, the main purpose of this video was to show you how to get this up and running and set up very fast without having to worry and getting intimidated with, oh my God, what do I do? What settings do I use? It's, it's very easy. Just follow what I say, do what I say. And if you get confused anywhere, you can go here. But personally, I don't think you'll be confused. I think I pretty much narrowed it down the best I can. Again, unedited, uncut, raw, no edits. This is all coming from me naturally. Thanks again, Sean, for the uh, blister adapter and the starter kit right here. Awesome stuff, awesome stuff. Looking forward to getting some more. And like I said, y'all, this was sent to me for two reasons. One, for review. Two, because I wanted one. So, giving you my honest opinion on it. I love it. It's great. The uh, the main benefit, like I said, adapters, all matching, and slightly lower latency. If you don't care about that sort of thing, it's not for you. Also, when you purchase the blister adapter itself, that's the most expensive part. When you purchase these adapters right here, there's where you save your money, okay? But if you're using a USB hub instead of the blister and you just want like eh, one adapter for it, you know, made by Rafnet or whatnot, you know, you're going to fork up 30 to 40 dollars just for that one adapter. Um, that's where the prices change. Basically, by getting this main board, you can get multiple ones of these um, for very, you know, roughly for a lot, a lot less money. If you're like me and you love a ton of adapters and love to mix match your controllers, get this. Get this because it'll save you a lot of money down the long run. Because if you get this and you get a whole bunch of adapters, you will save on the adapters. If you're just going to get one adapter or maybe even two, you know, you can go to Rafnet, you know, you can, um, you can go to Brook or whatnot and just invest in that 50, 30, 40, 50 dollars for that one adapter and you're set. But if you're going to get a whole bunch of them, get the blister. It will save you money and also it is awesome. I mean, come on, man. There's a power button right here. You know, you can just sit here and like, watch this, watch this. Oh my God, you see that? I just powered it off. Wow. Because personally, I got tired of using the uh, freaking uh, rink and ink switch right here. And also, when I found out the fact that this actually is not a full pass-through, it actually drains, like, it doesn't give you all your full power. When I found that out, I was like, eh. So I started using like a Pi um, power cord with an adapter on it, but now I can just sit here and go click, 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 which is pretty cool. All right, anyways, 
This is KJ Mullins with KJ Reviews. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. We got some more stuff coming out. Actually, not we. I got some more stuff coming out to show you on videos. So stay tuned. If you have any questions, comment, like, subscribe. Let's build up this channel. Let's make it great. It's not that big right now. It's new. It's fresh. But let's make it big. If we work together, we can do this. Right? Yeah, we can do this. Matrix style. Till all are one. Haha. <laughs> Peace out. Deuces, y'all.